Hello folks, it's me, Luke, Luke, Ian, and welcome back to Interior Worlds. I am in the metro, and, oh, I've been listening to the Silent Hill 3 soundtrack recently, because it has some really solid banners in it, but this is really giving me the vibes of the place in Silent Hill 3. How did I get here? The metro from the parking garage. Alright, well, so far we've gotten some good photos, some good aliens. Hmm, how do I want to frame this? Get a little more of the background, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Turn off the flash. Whoa. Is that on? It was. It's just very dark in that viewfinder. How's that look in here? Yeah, just about the same. Okay. Huh. Weird. These stanchions set up with chains instead of a velvet rope. Hello. What is that? A compass. <laughs> Thank you for purchasing the Corman multi-use pocket compass. In order to get the most of, out of your new tool, please follow this handy guide before beginning navigation. To equip or holster your compass, use the scroll wheel. <coughs> Excuse me. Follow the direction of the compass needle to find the nearest photo anomaly. Once all necessary photo anomalies have been captured, the compass needle will point, will point towards the exit. Okay. Well, that'll help out with locating things, which in this location might be really useful. It feels like it could be a maze. Huh. The way that the shadows were reflecting kind of looked like arms and legs of a person. Hello? That, that was a lot of noise. What the? It's like someone just ripped this up. Who could have done that? Now why am I here looking at it? I feel like I shouldn't be in this place anymore. That seems dangerous. But I'm just gonna be here and take photos of things, I guess. Oh, it's dark in there. so dark I can't even see. Well, only one way to go, I suppose. More of these weird chains. I thought I saw a flicker of a shadow of a person for a moment. There's another one of these. Oops. No one behind me, right? No. Ah, did I flash on? I did. I've never been in a metro quite this decrepit, other than in video games. I don't know. I live in Chicago, and we have a network of tunnels underneath known as the the Pedway. And it's not bad, but it's definitely kept much cleaner than how it is down here. To me, this feels like I've accessed an older part of the Pedway that isn't used anymore. There's a couple of strange places like that in Chicago. One of the most famous ones that I can think of is the Lower Wacker area. A series of streets 
nestled in the lasagna that is the table of Chicago's under, uh, under streets in the downtown area. They used to have drag racing there a long time ago, but not anymore. There's definitely something really weird about the place though, and this kind of gives me that same sort of feeling. I feel like if I find the right door or the right exit, I'll turn right out into the lower areas of the Wacker Street, low, uh, <laughs> uh, of the lower Wacker area. I don't know what happened to that sentence, I just lost it completely. Well, let's uh, jump some turnstiles. <laughs> oh, no need to, I suppose. can't really see where I am on this map. Hmm. Found another one. This is a pretty good shot. I like that. You know, something I haven't really taken any look at is... Are there anything in these photos after I take photographs? <laughs> no, it doesn't appear to be any sort of things appearing in these photos that I can't normally see. Not yet, at least. I wouldn't hold it against them. Or, not that. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if I might run into something like that. No... Okay, well, onward and onward. What do we got here? No exit. Unfortunate. Hmm. I see the glint of a key down there. I don't really like this area. I, I, I take the, the train a lot to get around Chicago and to see this place. Speaking of trains, I was about to say, I feel like I haven't seen a single train platform once since entering the metro, but here it is. It's blocked off. How do I get there? Hopefully this key is part of that. It's, uh... Right. I want the subject of this shot to be. Yeah, I think this. Your image here. Uh, what is that? say large print giveth I think the the by shape here <laughs> these are fun uh, wow I've lost track of where I just came from I came from here didn't I yeah did I get everything down this way Thought I photographed everything. Got that one. I also have a key now. I don't think there was anything to do with the key yet, but just in case. So I got the compass. Oh, that that's spooky. Oh, the noises here are not pleasant. Okay. I am being a little too... A little too collectible paranoid. See, I've been playing Venoneth still, and that game has so many secrets that I've missed. So I want to try to find as many little corners and clues that I can to make sure that I find everything that I came for. 
noisy. Okay, well, we're up on the platform. Down these stairs is probably the way to the trains, but even this is blocked off from the looks of it. Huh. I just want to get on the train to the... What's that say? Uh, next train arriving soon. Really? Anywhere. <laughs> South Central Station, 10 minutes. I wonder, wonder how hard it is 10 minutes to pass in a place like this, you know? I have a feeling that it's not quite that simple. Okay. Well, hmm, came through here. I've already explored all the way down here, right? Were any of these doors locked? There wasn't any of those. There wasn't anything locked on this side. Okay, so the next location is down here. Oh. Makes it better. Your design here. Oh god. This one's just kind of scrolling through. Whoa. This looks like I can get in. Do I want to go in? What? Two keys and a number pad. Oh no. Well, I'll keep my eyes peeled for any potential hidden numbers. Weird place. Hmm, actually. Can I do it like this? Nice. That was an alien. <laughs> yeah. No. Don't go away yet. <laughs> I'm glad that I realized that. That just kind of felt like an alien possible space. Okay, well. Is this going to show me a number, perhaps, if I just kind of sit here, like a, like a passcode? Maybe it'll, like, appear in the ads or something. Is that, is there a chance of that? Hmm. I don't think so. Six digits. Six digits. What could have six digits? Well, finally found this. Six digits. Ow. I'm really bad at that. Had that other photo come out. That's kind of neat. Could have been better, but not bad. Train departing station. By Luke Ian. There's a hole. Six digit number. Just gonna keep thinking about that. Hello? <gasps> what is that? A door? And a pole. Exit. No exit. 
Well, I'm not going either of those directions yet. Hmm. Dare I? I don't even know if I can get back out on the other side. But I want to go over there. Like, what is that? Whoa. There's stuff drawn on the... Wow. I wonder how long this has been sitting here. Okay, well, if I'm gonna do it now, I... Oh, I can't get off anyway. Okay. Well, what do I have access to again? Hello. Alien! Damn it. Hey, buddy. Can I get a clearer picture of you? I feel, I feel like the answer to that is no. <laughs> kind of the point. Can't get a clear picture of those fellas. Okay. I can't cross the tracks. There is a hole over here. I'm going to explore this hole. I know I can get over this, right? No? Maybe... Now, hang on a darn second. I swear I was able to... Ah, come on. No? Oh, shoot. Can't get through there. I wonder what came through to begin with. It left a bloody mess, that's for sure. Uh... Com comforting yourself preserves uh endless feels so good i it's really hard to make those out i kind of have to like let my vision blur and then just guess what the blur says <laughs> as someone who has pretty poor vision to begin with it's a surprisingly surefire method of coming through that all right here's another one what angle do I want for you? What's your... This is your angle. I like this one. Nice. Okay. Weird. These are here, but these are normally what you'd use to stop a car. I feel like we've only been getting further down, but they still want to prevent vehicles from pro passing through here? That's weird. Like, that's, that's really weird. I don't know how I feel about that. Well, we managed to make it to this platform. I'm going to wait until that train comes back before I try to take another picture. See, kids, if you need to get from point A to point B, don't necessarily decide that you need to take the most dangerous option. There might actually be an option that's a lot safer for you and everyone else involved. Uh, I'm going to be honest, though. Uh, children probably shouldn't be watching my YouTube channel. I don't do anything super bad, but I, I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't feel like children should be watching my YouTube channel. What is or isn't a child is not thoroughly up to debate, but I generally consider anyone under the age of 18. Cold drinks. Oh, yes, please. Delicious. Uh, what is this? It's a weird can here. Here. Still looking for that six digit number. Hopefully, I find something. A 
I don't like that pitch black screen I get when I try to take a picture of something and my camera's viewfinder is uh, uh, blocked because I haven't reloaded my film. Whoa, the light turned green. Oh. Okay, interesting. Seem to have made a bridge to get across. Still haven't found any numbers. Six digit passcode, come on people. Where's my six digit passcode? It's not on any of these. Whoa. It's almost like this entire station is just not in use anymore. Huh. Hello? Who am I calling? Your call cannot be completed this time. Please check your number and dial again. Huh. What about this one? didn't work in my favor. Let's go back up here again, check one more time to see if there's anything else that might indicate a six-digit passcode. I never really looked over here. Ugh. Despite it not needing to be used, it still reacted to me. Hmm, there's the way out. No pass in the codes. Is that a number? 808? Probably not. I could try 808, 808, but I don't feel like that's correct. Until I find something a little more definitive, I don't think I'm going to jump to any conclusions yet. Anything written on any of these? Hmm, not really. train station really is just an absolute shambles and when I was talking about Silent Hill 3's train station earlier it what okay um it definitely had the it, it definitely feels very similar hmm gotta keep my eye open for little alien critters the aliens are important Looking for the aliens is top priority. Now, I gotta be careful with these planks. If that gets stuck up there... Oh god, I'm stuck. Oh, golly. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Why not? Anything down here? There's a potentiality for there's something to be down here. Hello. What's this? Ah! Gotcha. Is that all of them? That is all of them. <laughs> I am good at that. But still no closer to finding that number. Which begs the question. What is that number even for? A six digit number. But I found all the aliens. Maybe that's the true exit? The real goal of the level? It doesn't seem right to me. Oh no, is this board still up? Okay. I couldn't tell from the side. Uh, I've made myself a disaster. Uh, can I... No! <laughs> this is not going the way I planned. There we go. Okay, well, all three aliens, no six-digit number. Hmm. Oh? Two... Six? 
2 equals 6. 2, O, 6. Hmm. Nope. Time, pop, boom. Weird. How does a train station even fall apart this badly? Hello. No, just the water. I found all of them, right? Photo ops needed eight. I've got eight out of eight. I found all secrets. Maybe, maybe I come back to this. Maybe I come back with the code from later. Hmm. There's a strong possibility of that. Oh, once again, the lines between reality shift and change. Is that what's happening here? It's been going on for a while now, and I've only begun to realize the car, the car, it transformed, like, we, we went into the parking garage, and then it transformed into the underground metro here, and now it's transforming into what appears to be a carpeted office. Oh, this is weird. Let's keep going. I could have not been more wrong. This is an airport, and holy cow, this is a cool airport. Hang on. I like it here. Aw. Doesn't move me. Oh well. I feel like I've seen various versions of these ads in many different situations. I really like the way that these are shaped. I like the sort of like the concrete shapes and structures vibe. One of my favorite games of all time is Nysance. It's not that great of a game, but it like, uh, and let me rephrase that. It's not mechanically very stable as a game, I'd say. But as a location, oh wow. There is nothing like Nysance. Okay, I seem to have a bit of a map here this time. And it's pretty easy to understand, too. Hmm. I'll try to keep that in my memory. Oh, I can even take a picture of it. It wants me to. That tells me that this might come into play and we need to pay attention to the layout here. Okay, I'll I'll keep that in mind. Hello. Thought I heard some sort of sound or music playing. <laughs> Four hour layover. Lovely. That's not a good layover time. Money? Wait, really? Oh my god. I'm rich. Oh no, all my money is e-fighting and then disappearing. Okay, goodbye. I was rich until all my money z fighted. <laughs> what a weird scenario. No, I didn't really want that. 
Okay, well. Huh. It's just a bunch of luggage up here. Could do whatever I want with it. Imagine just kind of leaving your luggage here. Also, imagine having luggage quite this small. It's so tiny. Hey. Ha. Ah. <laughs> that went far. Ah. Oh. oh, that kind of didn't go anywhere. I'm wondering if there might be anything underneath any of this stuff, so I'm trying to keep my ears and eyes open. Could probably turn off my flash. I feel like I'm using it a little too much. Spinny chair! Oh no, spinny chair. Well, not really a very good spinning spinny chair. Actually, I think I'd hate that chair. It's got a base, which means that it doesn't really m move around. Those chairs always kind of suck because they feel like they're about to fall over all the time. Oh. Darn it. like that. What a dark and dreary airport. Airports are supposed to take you up into the sky, but I feel like I can't even remember the sky in a place like this. The ceiling is so cramped. Even in these big wide open areas, it still feels like the ceiling is just a little lower than it should be. It's very strange. Hmm. Up ahead, it looks like we've got some metal detectors, but I don't think we're going to be going through those. We're going the express route, I hope. I don't like that the light is flickering in here. That definitely makes me a little unsettled. Hello? Seems safe here. A button. And a VHS player. Or, well, mostly a TV with potentially a built-in VHS player. It's kind of hard to tell. What did that open? Oh. What is that? Ah. I think that was the gate from earlier. Huh. Huh can't seem to get in there. Is there maybe... Oh wow, that's, that's good zoom. Um, hmm. There might be a way in from the other side, but I didn't really notice it. Oh, I got kind of turned around back here. Where did I come from? Well, I mean, the question I suppose is where does this exit out at? Right, okay. So, hang on. If I went down this way and then make a turn here. Hmm. It would need to be somewhere all the way over here, right? I think. No. No. None of those are open. It would have to be somewhere down over here, wouldn't it? Can't tell if any of these doors are ajar or not. 
uh, to put the key there and tantalizingly dangle it in front of me like that. Uh, it's rough. There has to be something. Well, I do know this opened up. Yeah, that's what I realized happened over here, the door opening. No, there has to be something that I'm missing over here. What am I... What am I missing? Bunch of switches here. Huh? Can I knock this over? Yeah, okay. That spooked me. Don't, don't do that. I know I'm running around like a doofus, but please, no. Hmm. What is this locked by? A board? Can't I just, like, I don't know, kick it really hard? Eh. No. No. Ah! Torment me further, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'll find a way on the other side? Doubtful, but there's always the chance, I suppose. Well, not sure what to do with that. Have to break the board, but also have to be on the other side of the thing to break the board. Maybe this turns to the right and then goes that way further. <gasps> right, I have metal on me. <sighs> that 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 seriously just made my whole like like all my blood go cold. What the? Dang, these grates are just on an absolute rampage lately. Just shredding and smooshing everyone. I hear something, but I can't go over there. Maybe it's in the restrooms instead. Yeah. Not in great condition, I would say. Hello. Come on, there we go. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Good enough. I haven't seen any aliens in a short bit. Yeah, I haven't seen any at all in this area. Hmm. No, 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 no. I ha no. Come on, really? Okay. Hi, how's it going? Maintenance room. No. No. Not going that way. Oh, wow. Hey, Non, is that... Is that outside? Oh, wow. It's dark, but we haven't seen outside in a very long time. I feel like it's been forever since we even thought about the outdoors. Oh. I love the weird skylights in airports. They're always pretty cool. Yeah. Another map. Forgot to look at the other one that I was on. That's okay. I'm doing okay just kind of feeling out the corners. Well, this is where people would normally be waiting. 
I have to say, I feel like I haven't been to an airport quite like this one before. It's a little large, but also kind of small. Like, this amount of seating seems just... I feel like... I feel like this is a lot of seating. I thought I saw... No... Hmm. Is that a door? Is that a door I can get into? <gasps> oh, it is! What's this? The gray key. What does that open? I don't know. What's over here? Can we get onto the airplane? Oh, wow. I don't think we can, but maybe at the least I can get close? Yeah. Huh. The engine is running. You can hear it spinning in there. Whirring away. I feel like as I run through here, it's almost as if I'm running late for my plane. Oh, weird. <laughs> That's cool. I like that sort of style over the... The... What would you call this? The, um... The luggage pickup. Yeah. Oh, hey. This is where that key goes. Ah! No, as usual, I mess up. All right, got an alien. I'm glad. Haven't found any other doors I can get into. Would probably help if I didn't run around like a silly doofus. Oh, here's one. Hmm. I feel like it's always best when you're getting off a plane just coming down the hallway, shuffling behind the other people down the aisle of the plane as they scoot off their luggage and roll down into the open airport area. Finally, a big fresh breath of air, even though that this is still recycled and air conditioned. But you've just been on that plane for so long and it feels so good to finally get up and walk around. You know, I have to admit, ever since I've seen Toy Story 2, I've always wanted to climb into one of these things and just scoot around in there. It'd be very dangerous, and I definitely shouldn't do it, but... Ah, oh, Toy Story 2, darn you. Darn you for putting the idea in my head that airport luggage and, like, conveyor systems could be cool and neat. It's probably very fabricated, if I'm gonna be honest. Do these have different things in different areas? Your call should not be completed or dialed. Please check the number and dial again. No. What is that? something in here has to be a way to open that door okay so I do need that red key to get out now I'm even more confused Hmm. 
Gumballs? Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oh, this is great. Will I slip and fall if I run across them? No, but I do kick them around. That's funny. Give me a bunch of colas, too, while we're at it. Weird can of cola still. Very weird. What's back here? Well, there's a button. That opened the storefront. The one with the weird music. What broke in here? Is this just all like the work of the aliens perhaps? Maybe it's just all the aliens causing the havoc. You could say. Oh, weird. Something I find a little weird about this store is how one side seems to be completely shuttered off. Or... No, that's not what this is. This is that annoying pegboard stuff that they'd put on walls of different shops where they'd put in hangers and things. And you'd like stick these large rods that hang on weird brackets. Uh, I can never wrap my head around how to hang from those properly. It always feel like nothing I did made it stick. Alien over here? Hello. Is that the last alien? No, I still have one more alien and one more photo spot. Hmm. I heard a beep. I couldn't tell if that came from the video game or from outside my room. Alright, finally found the other side of this hallway. About darn time. And. And the last cloud of dust. Wait a minute. That was weird. I thought I saw something appear kind of like here for a moment on, on the on the right side of the picture. But it's not there there's nothing there. That was really weird. Feels like the Mordo corridor. I never got to see it with my own eyes in infra, but I know about it. Nothing. Glad there isn't. Well, here's that key that's been tormenting me for this entire level. And something strange going on over there. Yeah, I can finally remove that. Not that I really want to go back that way now, I don't think. Last alien hiding here? Yep, there you are. Wait. There we go. I got a freebie. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> Much better condition than this one. Whoa! Okay. What's in there? No, I don't like that. I don't like that. Alright, well, I've got all cr photos. I've got all secrets. I didn't miss a single thing in this area. Still bugged by that that number pad in the metro level. There has to be something about it that I'm missing. Maybe a number found in a different level or by the end of the game, perhaps. 
We'll see. All right. Now, what are you going to transform into this time? Ho ho ho, what is this? It's definitely some sort of carpeting. Maybe a hotel? Time to find out. Yes, it's a hotel. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna have to come back to this one later, I think. This is the end of this episode for now. But right off the bat, oh god. I can already tell that there's something really weird about this place that I, I can't put into words just yet. But it feels like... This definitely feels like a place I've seen in a dream before. And I'll explain a little bit more about what that sensation is like in the next episode, I think. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. Uh, I know it's a weird place to leave it off on, but I want to make sure that I can really talk about what I want to in the next one. So, a bit of teaser, I suppose. For now, though, I hope you have a good time and take care of yourself. I'll be catching you in the next episode, and I'll see you later. Bye!